In this video, we'll be focusing on how data is stored and organized in the internal database of ProSoft communication modules and gateways. This is intended as a supplement for our lineup of product training videos that walk you step by step through the full configuration process. To begin, for all ProSoft data communication solutions, there is a common shared memory database that is used to store data as it moves through the module or gateway. This block of memory can be comprised of 4,000, 5,000, or 10,000 16-bit words, depending on the product. The memory can be accessed by different data types, so 16-bit words, 32-bit words, and single-bit binary addresses are all stored together. You need to keep this in mind when you're mapping different data types. ProSoft modules organize the internal memory by dividing it into two sections one for read data, and one for write data. It's set up this way to help prevent overlap and the possibility of data being inadvertently overwritten or corrupted. The user can control where these sections begin and how big they are by setting up the read and write start register tags and the read and write register count tags. When setting these tags, care must be given to ensure that the two sections do not overlap each other. If the read data start is set to register 0 and read count is set to 1000, then the write data start cannot be set to anything lower than 1000 or there would be an overlap. When creating commands, the two sections are treated as separate databases, with write commands starting at address 0 in the write data section and read commands starting at address 0 in the read data section. For in-chassis modules, the read data area is populated with data to be transferred to the PLC after being read from devices on the network. The write data is sent from the PLC and written out to devices on the network. Just remember that the read and write data always refers to the direction the data is moving from the PLC's perspective. This is true whether the module's application protocol port is being used as a master client or as a server slave. And that is a quick overview of how data is handled in ProSoft communication solutions. We hope that you now have a better understanding of the internal memory of our products. We also have short supplemental training videos on how to map 32-bit data types with our modules and how to understand bit level addressing. If you have any questions or would like more information, contact our technical support. Thanks for watching.